Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on understanding Pinnacle 21 issues in SDTM datasets. Note that this video is part of the playlist which is titled as Pinnacle 21 issues. So if you are watching this video as the starting point, I suggest you to watch the previous videos in this playlist because I have covered some extensive details in the previous videos. So we will see an example in this video which the issue could be variable appears in dataset but is not in SDTM model. So for every SDTM dataset that we create, so it goes and checks whether all the variables present in the dataset are actually present in the model and SDTM IG. So if we check the rule for this message, if we click on this message, so it takes us to the rule that triggers this message, which is variable appears in the dataset but is not in SDTM model. The description for that issue is if you see only variables listed in SDTM model should appear in a data set. New sponsor defined variables must not be added and existing variables must not be renamed or modified. So if we go back to the details again, so this message was triggered for the variable named subjd in AE domain. Subjd is not an acceptable variable or it should not be present in AE domain as per this rule. So there can be cases wherein the sponsor may still add sub JD variable. So if you do not want to remove or uh, uh, update your data set to remove this issue or remove this variable which is called sub JD in this example. So you will have to explain in your clinical study data reviewers guide on why that variable is being used. So otherwise if this has come as an by mistake, so you would have to fix it in your data set and then try to generate it. So here I am uh, creating or using an example from SDTM IG again and I have manually added this column to demonstrate this issue. So I have added this sub JD variable assuming that so this can happen say for example when you are trying to fetch your RFSTDTC variable to calculate study day from your DM domain. So some additional variables may come into your a data set so if you forget or if you missed dropping the other or not required variables so those variables still remain in this thing so let's assume that this variable has come into a domain that way and we forgot to drop the sub jd variable from the final data set so we let's run the p21 report for this uh, file first and then try to remove this variable in from our data set and then see if it uh, gets resolved so let us try to run the so I have created a program to import the data from this Excel file, convert it into SAS dataset and then into an XPT file. So I'm running it. So now I have my XPT file generated. So I'll clear the previous instances of the report. Now I'll select the updated XPT file, which had that additional sub variable sub JD in my AE dataset. So if I run the report, so I'll have that message which says variable which is not present in the model is appearing in the data set. So there are around 23 messages out of which we are only interested in one of the messages. So let us go to the detail sheet under AE. So if we see the message, it says variable appears in data set but is not in SDTM model. So that is the variable sub JD. So let's say we have figured it out and this variable has come by mistake into our AE. So and let us drop that. So here I have created a updated data set wherein I have dropped that sub JD variable which was present after use sub JD. So let's use this updated data set and then see if that message gets resolved. So before that let us import the updated sheet to create the XPT file. So I have run the updated XPT, created the updated XPT file. Let's use that updated XPT file and then see if that message gets resolved. So here now there are 22 messages when compared to 23 earlier. Let's see if that message is actually resolved. So let us go to the detail sheet here if we see the message which was related to sub JD variable is not present now. So which means that message is resolved. So if you are uh, running into this messages, you will have to ensure or check whether that variable you want to intentionally keep it in 
uh, your final data set and if you are keeping it that way you will have to explain why you have kept that variable in your data set in your csdrg and if that comes by mistake so you'll have to correct your agitm programming such that those variables are dropped and then regenerate the xpt files and then run p21 report to resolve that message thank you for watching and keep learning